Go back where we belong. This, this is where we belong. All right, welcome inside Flames TV, live at the intermission. It's brought to you by your Alberta Ram dealers. Taking a look at a first period uh, that is scoreless after one. A couple of chances both ways, but as you heard from Eric Branson, pretty tight checking in terms of that first 20 minutes between these two teams. It is a third and final matchup between Colorado and Calgary in the season series. So that's what's on the line here tonight. Let's take a look at what we saw in that first period in terms of chances. And it started early on with a pretty decent look here from Johnny Gaudreau. You see the ice is still wet, shiny, and it's a partial break. But uh, the backhand is well, def well defined, uh, defended there by Josh Manson. But backhand goes wide for Johnny Gaudreau. And they would keep on coming in waves. There's Callie Yarncroke off the rush. Quick little release. Kemper once again sharp making the save at the other end of things Jacob Markstrom he was tested a couple times in that first period as well this was probably the best look from JT Comfer breaking in off the wing and it's Markstrom getting the pad down and keeping this game scoreless at that point another good opportunity at the other end of things Dylan Dubé with the high to load Chris Tanev the redirect in front there from Dubé and once again Kemper makes the save this in the final minute of play on the power play which will continue for the Calgary Flames into the second period Matthew Kachuk on one side of things, and then it was Devontae's blocking the Elias Lindholm rebound. So that's where we stand through 20 minutes. Shots 13-9 in favor of the Calgary Flames, but as mentioned, they will have some power play time to begin the second period, uh, just over a minute, as uh, Alex Newhook got the high-sticking penalty on Sean Monahan. So the power play will go back to work here to begin the second period for the Calgary Flames. Good physicality heard from Eric Prance in trying to uh, make sure they're finishing their checks early on. Colorado still has a slight advantage in that category, but we'll see where it goes uh, in the final 40 minutes. Already right, talked about a little bit about Jacob Marks from there. He made uh, nine saves in that first period. He's been sensational all season long for the Calgary Flames. We know he means business on game day, but uh, sometimes it's nice to see the lighter side of Jacob Markstrom, and we do see that here in This or That. Here's Everly, stopped by Markstrom, stacks the pad. Uh, cooking if I don't have to cook. Bacon. Mullet. Probably Shara plays for play with Johnny Stick. Panda, one of my all-time favorite. Fishing. Neither coffee. None. <laughs> <laughs> Country is close though. In the woods. Oh, I'm just getting into Ted Lasso, but I'm huge, huge uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine fan. So I gotta say that. I'm not a fan of the Canada Goose. The <laughs> all of the golf course back home. <laughs> I'll fight that guy. <laughs> all those. Neither I stay on the ground, please. <laughs> All right, Canadian geese, watch out for Jacob Markstrom. And second period is coming up next. We're scoreless. The Colorado Avalanche and Calgary Flames around the corner. All of us here at Calgary Sports and Entertainment are thrilled to welcome you to the Scotiabank.